Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how fun and easy it is to paint on bags. This is a great way to upcycle and either modify something you already have that you're tired of or that's getting a little beat up looking, or a way to repurpose things you can get from the thrift store to make them unique and one of a kind. This Van Gogh inspired piece that you're going to see me working on is going to be available for sale in our fundraising fashion show that my program, Express Yourself Art Shop at Creative360, is going to be hosting this upcoming Thursday. For those new to the channel, Express Yourself Art Shop is an inclusive arts program I run that's open to students of all abilities, including those with disabilities and mental health challenges. My students have been making some really amazing things and it's been awesome to see their skills flourish the longer they worked on this fashion upcycling project. You have a couple of options as far as paint when painting on fabric. Fabric or canvas bags are the easiest to paint on. You can use specific fabric paints. However, I found that fabric paints are often a little more either translucent, so they take a lot of coats unless you're going over a really light color, or else they have that kind of puffy raised effect. And if you want that effect, that's great, but for many of my projects, I want it to just be flat. So what I actually enjoy using and what I'm using right now are the Folk Art Multi-Surface Craft Paints. And I'm sure there's multi-surface craft paints in other brands as well. This is just the brand I'm familiar with. These are great because as it states, they can really work well and leave a permanent finish on any surface. Just make sure you read the instructions to cure it properly. There's different procedures for curing it, whether you're using it on glass or for example, on this canvas bag here. Normally it involves heat setting, so after you're done, you'll either want to iron, hit it with a blow dryer, or throw it in the dryer on a medium setting. Gloss finish acrylic paints also can work on fabric, canvas, that sort of thing. Same procedure where you will have to heat cure it after, but because the gloss paints leave that kind of thick, rubbery, stretchy surface when they dry. If you're a painter, you might have noticed that when your paint dries on your palette, if you're using the glossy finish paints, that makes them something that will also work well for fabric. If you're painting on a bag that is leather or vinyl or a plastic base with that kind of really shiny surface, then to avoid the paint peeling off, you really wanna make sure you're using a multi-surface paint that's geared towards that type of finish or else go specifically with a leather or vinyl paint. When painting on fabric, you wanna mainly be using flat brushes. The reason for this is with a flat brush, which are the brushes that are rectangular shaped and flat on the end, you're going to get more flat, even coverage. You don't really wanna see raised areas or brush strokes when you're painting on fabric. For fabric painting, the designs and details, you want to use a really hard, stiff brush. You can actually purchase brushes specifically for fabric painting. They have that really tough bristle, but really any firmer brush works great. With this design, I'm really building my finished scene out of a bunch of little swirls and brush strokes. Because it's a Van Gogh, it's really easy to just go along um, looking at an inspiration picture of Starry Night and just add your swirls one color at a time. So I'm starting first with doing most of the yellow and then you can go into your blues and whites and kind of keep building a little bit at a time. This time I haven't pre-drawn out a design, but you can always go ahead and pre-outline your design with either a fabric pencil or just a chalk or charcoal pencil works well, especially the white ones. And oftentimes I do find it easier to go in a sort of methodical process and do all of my areas in the design with one color first, then move on to the next color and then the next, but you'll find out what process works best for you. And remember, if you make a mistake, you can just cover right over it with another color. So don't worry about it. If something starts turning out how you don't want it, just let it dry and then you can put another layer right over. For this project, I used a blue base, but even if you just use white, any fabric project you're doing or any 
bag project, really whatever material it's made out of, it's really great to do a base coat first, especially if what you're painting on is a more absorbent material because oftentimes that first layer is going to be really splotchy and not cover as even because it'll be soaking partially into the material. So doing the base coat first makes it real easy to then put your details right over without getting any light or dark spots or without feeling like you're having a really hard time dragging the thinner lines you want across the surface. As you can see, when you're doing an upcycling project on either a bag or even if you're working on a piece of clothing, you don't always need to add a bunch of color and bedazzling and decoration all over the whole thing. Sometimes something as simple as just picking one area and adding some detail and vibrancy to that is enough. So always do a little bit at a time, then step back and look at your project and see what you think. Using the natural breaks on a bag where there is paneling, as I've done here, is a really nice way to frame whatever decorative element you're adding on. If you're not a painter, don't worry. This would have looked just as cool if I just would have made a fun abstract design in this middle panel. And there's also plenty of foam paint stamps, rollers that make patterns, different things that you can get at your local craft store that can help you out so you don't have to really know how to paint to do a project like this. So don't throw away that old bag, turn it into something amazing. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to subscribe.